Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous tutorial, as you know that we have successfully allowed a user to upload the post images or you can say now user is able to upload a picture and we have successfully uploaded to the Firebase storage and also to the Firebase database. Here you can see it posts and here you can see it, I mean the post image alongside with the description and all the information. So now the next thing is to upload and retrieve it and display it on the user timeline. Okay, so for that, first of all, all we're gonna need is, and let me tell you by timeline, we mean our home activity or you can say our home page. So first of all, come to the fragment, fragment home. And now on our fragment home, let me first check if we have already added the recycler view. Here you can see it is by the name recycler view. Now the next thing which we need to do is go to the fragments, home fragment and let's add that recycler view here in our this home fragment. So in here what we need to do is let's change this to well let's give it name as view equals to this and then return the view. Okay, and now in here we can write our code. So now the next thing is to add the recycler view. So we can say var recycler view. Let's give it the same name. Recycler colon, and it is of type recycler view. And let's initialize it with null. Then we can say recycler view equals view dot find view by id or dot id dot and the id for this one is recycler view home now let's set a linear layout or you can say i mean we want to display the basically the post in a vertical on on the home fragment or you can say home page so anyways equal linear layout manager M context sorry it is the context which means the current context is our home fragment so on the home fragment linear layout manager dot set reverse layout that is dot reverse layout this one equals to true as we want to display I mean the new post at the top okay so that is why I mean we can also say that linear layout manager dot reset resource layout true and then start from end equals to true recycler view layout manager equals to linear layout manager so well this is all about the recycler view addition now the next thing which we want to do is to create a layout uh, I mean to display the post that is in which design we want to display our posts. So for that I mean let's create a layout. So come here right click on this layout new and let's give it name as layout resource file and the name of this will be post underscore layout. So this should be our post layout dot xml file okay here you can see it now come here and first of all let's change this quickly to card android x dot card view widget dot card view this one okay here you can see it and now the orientation vertical layout with match parent match parent now first of all make sure to change the layout height to wrap content this is the important thing now instead of writing the whole design what i'm going to do is i will just add the link to this post layout.xml design and then you can just copy that xml code and just paste it here okay which is easy to understand and i will also now explain it i mean this link will be available in the description down below okay which will be by the name link to xml design and then you can just copy i mean just click on that link in the description down below and, and when you click on that link it will redirect you to this xml code which is post item layout dot xml 
okay so from here all you gonna need is just to here you can see this is the card view from here you just copy this code which is android layout margin top left right and this card elevation okay this is just for the time saving i hope now you understand the xml code easily okay this is not i mean we want to just come uh, quickly complete the code for this okay because that will took a lot of time so i mean we just focus on the back end code the design is really easy to understand all you gonna need is just to copy this linear layout from here and just go to the bottom and here up to this linear layout at the bottom just control c copy it and come here and now inside here we can just paste it and now i, I will tell you i mean what this is basically so first of all we have a linear layout let me just show you from here you will understand more easily first of all we have a card view which you know okay as a whole the i mean the the layout how it is rep content so it is up to here okay here you can see it. then inside that we have a linear i mean linear layout which is the direction for which is vertical okay so inside this linear layout we have this uh, okay first of all we have this whole linear layout i mean this whole first i mean this is a card view as a whole and then we have a linear layout if i show you then here you can see it now inside this linear layout we have another linear layout and by the way the orientation for this one is vertical which means like this okay and then we have another linear layout which is set to horizontal which is for this one here you can see it it is also highlighted let me just zoom it inside this linear layout we have this user profile image which is this one here you can see it and then we have this user name okay after this linear layout we have a post image home where we will basically display the post images which different users upload to the followers i mean to the followers you can say yes i mean the followers let's say i'm a person i am following five person okay five other person so i will see their pictures on my timeline or you can say on my home fragment okay so yeah and then after this we have a relative layout in which we have this icon okay here you can see it if you just right click on it you will see it okay so inside this uh, relative layout we have these three icons and then at the end we have here the likes okay and then the publisher description and comments text view which you can also just check just come here and inside here you can tell, see it okay this is our comments for now we have not added text to it so i mean there is no need to add text to it because we will retrieve it from the database the comments and then we will display it like 10 comments how much comments uh multiple i mean a user have on his picture okay so we will display that in the upcoming tutorials so for now just we set the text to null or you can say empty okay and then we have a text view for the description then for the publisher and you can understand this code easily okay you can just read it and also then we have a likes for displaying likes on a user image or user post okay and this is our linear layout where we have three image views one is for the like uh, or dislike the comment and the save button i mean if a user want to save any picture hope you have watched the first tutorial in which i show you guys the overview of this project okay and this is the image view for the displaying the post picture and yeah the rest is just the, user, the text which is text view which is the username and then the circle image view for the post so i hope you understand it you can read it more carefully you will understand it okay and then uh, all these are the icons which is also already available in the drivable folder i already provide a link to the sort of the icons in the very i mean the second or first video to hope you know about it more clearly so anyways i mean let's just uh, write the code for it so once we have this uh, now the next thing is to create a model uh, file i mean model class for uh, this i mean to retrieve all the data which is our the description post id post image and the publisher id so we have to create a model class and set a setter and getter for this so inside our model class i mean inside this model package just right click on this model package and then new and here we have kotlin file or class okay so we want to create a kotlin class and the name of it will be post and then you can just press ok here you can see it and now let's just quickly define it i mean the variables the first one is private for first one we have post id and make sure to use the same spellings which are inside the database which is 
in small english alphabets which is post id description post image and publisher okay so post id colon it is of string data type so we can say string and let's initialize it with null and let's me write name for it sorry it is post id okay let's just copy paste it quickly and we can do it for the other ones so the second one is the so the next one is the post image so we can just say post image then the publisher and then the last one is the description okay so make sure that these are the i mean it has the same spellings just like as it is okay in small english alphabets here you can see it otherwise you will get error for this then we have to add a constructor without parameters or you can say a default constructor and then a constructor with parameters so we can say i mean we can just also create it automatically just right click here and then generate and here you can see this uh, secondary constructor just click on it and then all you will need is just to select all these by pressing ctrl a or if you are using mac then press command a okay or ctrl a on your windows keyboard so just select all this and then press ok so this is our constructor with parameters now the next thing which we need to do is to set uh, i mean get set the setter and getter for all these variables okay so so first of all we have get post id colon and string type then in here we have to return the post id now let's just copy paste it four times for the remaining ones i mean three times sorry so the next one is get post image and make sure to change this also to post image. then we have the third one which is get publisher and make sure to change this to publisher then we have get a uh, description and then here we need to write the description it will return the description now we have to set the these, these are the getters now we have to set the setters for it so set post id post id and it is of type string this dot post id equals to post id now just copy paste this three times to change i mean to uh, change it for the remaining ones okay one two three and this will be set post image make sure to change this post id first to post image then this one post image post image then we have the set publisher okay and then publisher okay and then publisher publisher the last one is the set description then description description okay which are basically our variable name so anyways so this is the setter and getter let's just close this now the next thing which you need to do is to access all of our these i mean this post layout elements or you can say these controllers on i mean to access it and retrieve the data i mean retrieve data first obviously from the database and display it here on it so for that we are going to create a new adapter which will be our post adapter so right click here new uh, will be our kotlin file class class okay and the name of this will be post adapter and press ok and now just in here let's create i mean define the context so you can say well context let us give it a name m context colon context comma right and post 
list adapter sorry it will be our list i mean so now we will write a code to retrieve all the post which will be inside the database okay but before uh, i mean retrieving that let me tell you we will display the following list let's say this user is online okay and this user has three followers okay now here you can see it so we will first display that on only these people post we will display to the online user let's say i am now an online user okay so i will i'm an online user and this is my d let's say muhammad ali okay and i have three people i am following these three person so only uh, the post or you can say the pictures which these three people uploaded will be displaying on my home page or you can say on the timeline so first of all uh, i mean we will use the list just like we use it for the searching user okay so we for retrieving the or you can say for storing the well, once we retrieve the, the the post i mean all the post information then we will just save it inside our this list which is by the name m post okay and it will be of type list and we have to pass our post model class to it let's move it to the next line so that we can see the code easily okay so here we can say colon recycle so now here uh, first of all here you can see this red line i mean it display this error okay all you will need is after putting these angle braces just click here you will see this red bulb just click on it and here you can see it says uh, implement member just click on it and we need to implement these three which is on bind view holder get item count and on create view holder so just click on it and here you can see we have these okay first of all let's remove that quickly we do not need that now first we have to ident i mean define our inner class okay so just follow exactly the same step so we need to i mean the inner class uh, we are going to use it so that we can access all of our, these elements okay which are on our post layout i mean the likes the comments and all these stuff stuffs okay so let's give it this name view holder at the rate non null item view and this will be of type view colon recycler view dot view holder in here pass the item view and then put these two curly braces so first of all let's check we have a profile image then a text view then the post image all let's just initialize it quickly profile let's give it name as profile and it is of type circle image view then we have another one which is uh, an image view for the post image so let's give it a name as post image and it is of type image view image view then we have a button which is for the heart button which is for like okay so i mean give like button and it will be of type image view because we are using icon for that you can just paste it twice because we have two more which is the second one is the comment button which is of image type and then we have the save button which is also the image type i mean this one okay and then we have six text views first first one is username text view let's just copy paste it five times more five okay then we have the for displaying the number of likes we have a text view then a text view for displaying the publisher username publisher you can give it the name and then one text views for displaying the post description and then the last one text view is for displaying the comment total number of comments okay that is how much comments is on a post now we have to access i mean uh, assign it to the xml i mean by using their ids so that is simple well we can just say in it and inside this in it we can say profile image equals to by using this item view we can say item view dot find view by id or dot id dot and the id for this is user for i mean let me just let's just go there and it is user profile image search since we are using here on the post so i mean we have to assign some unique id to it so we can just give it id image post so just 
user profile image was so copy this id i mean and just paste it here quickly make sure to import this r by pressing called enter and then let's just copy paste quickly sorry The second one is our post image and the ID for this is the post image home. So we can say post image home. Then we have let's just copy it. I mean we have comment and we have serve button. Then we have username. Then we have okay, remove this one. I mean, we just copy paste it twice, which is the username, okay. And then we have the likes, then the publisher, and then the description, and then the comments. So, yeah, that's it. So, now once it is done, now uh, I mean, we can access all of these uh, controllers in our, the, on our this post adapter. Now we have to pass this view holder here. And here you can say it's display this uh, red line, which means we have to import it. So, you can just press the Alt Enter button on your keyboard, and here you can see import. And then it belongs to our this one view holder on the post adapter okay here you can see it now comes the other part i mean the important part you can say just click here here you will see this and implement methods you have to create the on create view holder then the get item count and the on bind view holder just click on it and here you can see all these methods are created here so remove this comment first okay this is our on create then we have the get item count which will return the total number post so anyways i mean we will write the code for it obviously so anyways uh, when we write this uh, post adopter dot view holder make sure to write here these braces now we have already linked this thing i mean we access all the controllers here on our this i mean the kotlin file which is post adapter dot catty but we have to access this whole post layout i mean how our i mean the application will know that is to which file basically all of these things belongs so we define that inside our on create view holder so how we can do that i mean to link this whole post layout dot xml to our post adapter well so simple and so easy all you will need is we can say well value view equals to layout inflator dot from m context dot inflate or dot layout dot and the name of this layout is post layout so you can just type post layout comma and by this i mean the type of parent view group okay so we can say parent comma false so in this way basically we linked our that xml to this kotlin file and then we can return this view which is by the name view okay now this will return the size this get item count so we can set it m post dot size i mean whatever the number of post is inside our this list which is this one okay m post and basically now we will write a code for it we will uh, retrieve all our posts from the database on our home fragment okay but that is the later part first let complete over this post adapter so it will return the total number of posts or you can see the size of it that is how many posts are there in the list now inside this one bind view holder basically we write the code for i mean when we want to that is let's say if a user click on let's say on the profile picture like here and we will send the user to this user profile and let's say if a user click on the comments then we will display all the total number of comments or you can say all the comments to the user who want to see his follower all comments okay i hope you understand this okay i mean uh, all the events that take place we write the code for it inside our on bind view holder so well uh, first of all let's define the, a firebase user which we will obviously now we will we will use it we will need it so private for 
let's give it a name as firebase user and it is of type firebase user and let's initialize it with null and now in here in our own bind view holder we can just say firebase user equals to firebase auth dot get instance dot current user and as you know in order to I mean like let's say we will write the code for it obviously in the upcoming tutorials that is let's say if I want to there will be number of posts like let's say 10 posts you will be seeing on your timeline or many posts I mean if you scroll down to the bottom anyways so if you want to save any post or comment on any specific post then we have to get the ID of that specific post so with the help of that ID we can save the all the data for that unique post okay so for that I mean here we can say our post adapter that is well post equals to m post the post which we already retrieved inside our this list okay or you can say this array list basically all the posts are storing stored here and now we have to get the position and we assign it to this post also let's display the profile image so you can say picasso dot get dot post I mean the post image sorry okay so get post image dot into holder dot post image now we have to get the publisher info so for that let's create a method by the name publisher info okay so we can say publisher info and we can pass and by using this view holder the name of it which is holder okay we can say holder we have to we are now passing these parameters the first parameter will be our profile image in order to display the profile image comma the second one be, will be the username so holder dot username comma the third one will be the publisher name so holder dot publisher comma and then the post publisher so post dot publisher get publisher which is basically the id so anyways we are now going to create this uh, method or you can say this function with all these four parameters which will receive by this method so let us just create it from here create function publisher info and here you can see it private fund this is our method name and these are the parameter which is retrieving here inside this method now let's just move it to the bottom I mean after this class okay here at the bottom just paste it here and in here first we need to create a reference to our users node because this user information is present here inside the user node i mean that is to which person this let's say we will retrieve the post information the post information just can contain this publisher id which means that this post image or this post description belongs to this user okay so by using this post which is which we get here by this name okay which is our publisher this one post dot get publisher by the way we just uh, write the wrong spelling which is our inside our model class if i show you i mean it will it it will not create any problem okay just leave it as it is or if you want you can change the spelling to correct publisher but for that also you have to change this also here okay and also here at the bottom which is our by the way let's just again i mean call this method because we do changes here okay just correct these things so yeah create function and here it is created let's move it to the bottom just to make the code clean i mean just to keep the code clean I like specific location so I mean with the help of this ID now we are going to I mean retrieve the that user let's say we see a post on our home page or timeline okay so only that specific profile image I mean let's say IQ okay so IQ is this person so this person profile image we will retrieve and we will display it there on here i mean let me show it to you you guys will be confused what i'm talking about i mean here okay the same we will retrieve the username and we will display it there 
so it means that IQ is the publisher of this post okay so yeah I mean let's just move I mean go ahead we will more clearly understand it when we retrieve and display it okay so anyways hope you are understanding everything instead of calling it publisher let's just change the ID we can say publisher ID which means the user ID the user who upload this post or this picture so now as I told you we need a reference to the users node so we can say value firebase database dot, ref, dot child users dot child and then pass this publisher ID to it okay this publisher ID to it now by using this user ref we are going to retrieve the information of the publisher of this photo or of this image add value event listener object colon value event listener and then in here we have two built-in functions which is the own oh sorry first of all we commit here a mistake before this brass put these two curly braces okay here you can see it and then in here we have two built-in function which is the on data change remove the comment and the second one is the on cancelled okay and remove the comment now inside our this on data change we can say if the data snapshot exists if this publisher really exists okay if this publisher exists and we are going to retrieve its profile image and username and by the way this is the data snapshot for us okay so if you want you can change the name of it to data snapshot i will just go with it po dot exist and for the time saving let's go to the user adapter here we have to just copy something i think it is in the come here to the account settings activity and here we have this user info method okay so we need the same data, I mean the same code here exactly. So now here you can see this thing, which is uh, well user po dot get value this thing. Okay, just copy it and come back to the post adapter and just paste that here. That's it. Also on the account settings activity we have this Picasso. Just copy all these things from here. Copy it and now come here and paste that here. Okay, and then the next thing is Picasso and it is we have to display it into our image profile image the next one is the username so we have to say username dot set text and by the way in kotlin we write also we have i mean this thing which is dot text but anyways you can also use dot set text but if i mean this just display uh, an error then all you're going to need is just to write like this which is by the way username dot text i hope i already told you these things in the previous video tutorials okay in kotlin you can follow this thing dot text equals to this dot guest dot get text is basically a built-in function which belongs to java but anyways in android studio that also work but if you get error using that then you can also follow this technique so anyways the next one is our so we have set the circle image view then the username and then the publisher which is the full name basically of that publisher okay so we can say publisher and the type of this is basically the text view here you can see it okay so get full name and we do not need the bio so yeah that's it and if you want you can also change this like dot text equals to this well the last thing is I mean to retrieve the data and save it inside our this list which is the post okay but before doing that I mean okay first of all let's just go to our home fragment so before doing that let me tell you what we are going to do is first we will retrieve all the here you can see let's say IQ is my ID okay I am now an online user I am following three persons so I am going to retrieve all my following list users okay so only these three user post or images I will see on my uh, home page or you can say home fragment or the timeline anyways okay so yeah only my followings so come here on the home fragment
so first of all here we can say private post adapter and it is of type post adapter initialize with null and now also as I told we will be needing a list so it will be mutable list and we have to pass the post model class to it so in this list as I told you earlier we are going to store our all the posts which we will retrieve from the database and also uh, before doing that we have to retrieve all our following list for a specific user let's say for me I am now online let's say I am using the app and I am online so for that also we will be needing a list and let's give it a name as a following list colon it will be of the same type which is mutable list or you can say an array list or a list so in here in our own create after this we can say post list equals to array list post adapter context sorry dot let in here we can say post adapter it comma post list is array list post recycle view dot set adapter or in Kotlin we say dot adapter equals to post adapter so first of all we have to retrieve all our following I mean to retrieve the following list of an online user so let's create a method or you can say a function for that by the name check followings and then create this function check followings remove this comment and inside this method we can say following list equals to array list and then come here to the user adapter and from here you can just copy this inside our check following status just copy this reference from here uh, for the time saving and we are going to modify it but first so following reference remove this okay firebase database dot get instance dot reference dot child follow dot child here we can say firebase auth dot get instance dot current and it must not be null dot uid so we are getting the online user id since we are going to check the following list for this user and then according to that following uh, users we will display all the post of that user to this online user so anyways after this we can say following reference dot add value event listener object colon value event listener make sure to put curly braces here on data change first method then the second one is on cancelled remove the comments and then in here inside our this on data change we can say po dot i mean this thing dot exist then what we gonna do so first of all put these two braces and we can save list as array list passing the string to it as data will be of string data type and then after this we can clear it I mean all the previous data let's say if there is anything in the following list and we first we clear it and then we have to store the new data in it okay so we can say for and say snapshot in po.children by using the for each loop dot children snapshot dot key so now we are we basically retrieve all the users from this reference okay and then we are now going to add all this data inside our following list so you can say dot following list is array list 
string now make sure to first add this put to braces then add copy i mean return i mean paste it back and then we can say dot add inside this following list we are going to add all the data one by one okay so dot add it so yeah now once we retrieve and save all the for i mean this is the for each loop i hope you know about this we are retrieving the data one by one and store it inside our following list array list okay which is of type array list and then once we have this following list we are going to retrieve or you can say read all the post uh, according to these ids which are i mean inside the following list that is let's say we retrieve these three okay which is for this user so we are going to retrieve the post which are updated by all these three users so yeah how we can do that now after this for, for loop let's create another method by the name read post or retrieve post whatever the name you want to give to it it is totally up to you retrieve all posts not all but for the following list okay so i mean whatever the name you want to give to this post i mean this function sorry create function and inside our home fragment make sure to remove the comment and then in here let's just copy paste this quickly the reference copy it we do not need that here but let's just change it i mean this will be the reference to our post and firebase database reference remove the remaining and just here we can say dot child and this reference will be up to the post node so after this i can just say post reference dot add value and listener value event list first we have to clear the uh, i mean first we have to create this functions second one is own cancelled and then here we can say we have to remove all the data i mean we have to clear our post list first if there is any previous data in it then we can say if or there is no need of it we can just use directly a for loop snapshot let's just quickly paste this instead of typing it and then we can say well post equals to snapshot dot get value to our post model class so it is post class dot java but these post must be according to our following list so we have to add another for loop and to check that is the publisher that is let's say the online user has the specific three users and i'm i am just giving this ex um, i'm explaining this by an example okay so this is our publisher and this is the follow followers of this person or you can say this is our online user and these are the followings not followers sorry these are the followings inside the following list he has these three users so we can say followers id in following list inside the following list and by the way it must not be null if if the post dot get dot equals to the id and by the way in java we can also write this like this okay equals to id i mean in kotlin sorry we can write this also like that i mean e double equals to id but anyways we will just go dot equals to id or if you want you can also i mean you will be now thinking let's just do it like in that way okay to id but if you do it uh, do it like in this way then you have to convert this id to dot to string okay and yeah now inside this post list dot add post and make sure that this must not be null so anyway this is all about the uh, retrieving all the post or you can say all the pictures from the real time database and then only that pictures from the post list we will display on the user timeline which is according to the following list of that user okay
I mean, let's say for this user, this person has only three follow. I mean, followings. So only these three people post will appear in the timeline of that person. Now, what about uh, what about? I mean, how I will see my own post? This code is for the user. I mean, uh, only for according to the following list, or you can say to the friends post only. But in order to see my own post, I have to store i mean i have to follow myself also so for that we will just add a default code okay whenever a user register okay so just come here quickly to the sign up activity and in here when we say uh, that is save user info and if the task is successful then by default whenever a user create a new account we will uh, allow that user to follow himself by default i mean okay hope you understand and get the idea so only in that case the user will also see his own post in the uh, in his timeline basically and for that what we're gonna do is here we can just quickly write let's just come here quickly to our user adapter from here you can just copy this code come here to the sign up activity and paste it here on the sign up activity and then here we can say firebase database okay cut this code up to here because we need only this code firebase database remove this okay and then firebase database get instance stuff and here we have to pass the current user id following dot child inside the following list we are going to use the same id so this user is now following himself okay and we are doing this just for the sake so that user can also see his own pictures or post in the timeline if he updated okay you will now see it dot set value to true so yeah that's it now is the time to test the application now before testing the application one thing which i will suggest is just come here to the uh, database and now what I'm going to do is let's delete I mean all the previous data since you know that we have created some user for the testing and we have modified our code so I'm going to just delete all the previous uh, or you can say the old data because now we are going to create some other users I mean now new users basically okay so just delete all the and now let's just come and test the application quickly now we will basically also create some new users I will show you what will happen basically but one thing uh, which I remember is first of all I mean as you know we delete all the users so make sure to uninstall the app from your mobile phone first uninstall it okay and then now you again run the application so the app is running now successfully and now let's just quickly log in so I'm going to write my I mean sorry first we have to create account because we have delete all the old data so let's go to the need new account sign up and let's just fill out this registration form quickly so Muhammad Ali and then username let's say not let's say but this is my username I like that is before create you can also follow me on my real Instagram this is a clone app basically using Firebase so anyways so let me write my email this is just uh, for testing purposes this is my okay let me write my real email so if you guys want to contact me if there is any error in your code 7 8 up to 8 okay click register please wait this may take a while so here you can see account has been created successfully here you can see this is the user data okay and this is the uh, by default code that is I am following myself okay here you can see RZ and inside my following list RZ if I just come here and uh, come here to the then here you can see Muhammad Ali okay this is my information and this is the default status and here you can see following one so I am now following myself okay now the next thing is to quickly upload a post so let's click on it and from here let's choose an image and now if you want you can crop it and then if you want you can write some description hey this is my first image post okay and then click on this tick button adding new post please wait well, the post is added successfully here. I mean, but we got an error. Okay, here you can see it. 
so we just got unfortunately unfortunately instagram app is has stopped let's just take the, uh, check the lock cat for it quickly and see to see what happens basically okay for that we have to scroll a little and it says just click on it and it says that java language string cannot be caught remove this id and type this id again okay and here you see that is id belongs to post well this is not that id it must belong to a string so what i'm going to do uh, let's just remove it i'm going to use another name for it let's give it name is user id okay and now when you type this user id here just type u and you will see this suggestion and it again displaying us this thing but we do not want that it must be of type post it must be of type string so when you type user id i mean here you can see still the type of this is post okay so it doesn't matter i mean whatever the name you give to it but the main problem is that this must not be of type post now the reason that we i mean the mistake which we just did here is basically this following list is of type array list okay and we have to specifically define it just like we did here like following list as array list okay and the type of this is string so in this case it will identify that user id or id is the also of string type so make sure to just copy this okay alongside with this brace copy it and just come down here below and instead of just saying simply following list you can just cut this and paste this whole code okay which is this one okay so we specify the type array list and it will store string type variable uh, string type will use okay and now if you just write here the same code which we write here uh, wrote here before so here you can see now it is of type string okay you can see it now so yeah that's it and this is the mistake basically which we just correct now now the next thing which we need to do i mean that point we just basically forgot to write and which is the post ad adapt it must not be null dot notify data set change now let's just run the application quickly so the application is running now and once again i mean we just got another error and let's see what we got here this time so it is that circle image you cannot be caused to a text view so something we did here oh sorry i mean we forgot to change the ids of all of these according to it okay so let's just do it quickly let's start from the post post image home okay post layout i'm really sorry for this okay we just forgot about to change the ids of it okay so we have post image for the let me just quickly come here and then we have for the post we have post image home and we have the like button so for the like button we have post image like button copy it and just quickly replace it here then we have comment button so for the comment button we have post image comment copy it paste it here and then save button we have so for the save button the id is post save button then we have username so username id is username post that is on the post page let's say so just give it a unique id okay so username post and then we have the likes so for the likes we have the id this one so just copy it and paste it here make sure to exactly give it the id okay and for the publisher let me just check it the publisher id is publisher so publisher publisher then we have description it is description then we have the last one comments so comments So before running the application one more thing is to change also the types of it that is for the comments we have text view in description i mean we have to check it okay so the like button is the image view and then this like is basically a text view where we display the total number of likes so likes 
this is not post image like button okay make sure to confirm this from here for displaying likes we have this text view by the name likes okay and this one is basically our icon for displaying i mean the button basically okay so make sure to do the changes likes okay so likes likes this is the text view in which you will display the total number of likes now we are ready to test the application finally so please i mean exactly follow the exact steps which you are seeing in this video tutorial and this tutorial is very long so far i think more than 50 minutes so the application is running now successfully and yeah we got it okay here you can see it this is the full name this is the user name and this is the uh, post and also let's add a new post so that we can see also that is the new post must appear here at the top okay in descending order so let's just choose an image hello my second post okay and then let's just upload it so you can see in the database and also you can see a new post appear here at the top now the next thing is that whatever the i mean the uh, i mean you can also change here you can see this displaying the default picture because we have not uploaded uh, i mean i have not uh, you can see upload my profile picture okay now i'm going to upload a new picture for my profile so let's choose any image from here and then let's just so here you can see it now let's just upload it and now you will see that this image will appear on my post also here we go here you can see it so it automatically update here also on my post so in this way, i mean this is working really nice now we have to check the last thing which is that now i'm going to let me first check i am logged in by my own account the id is rz okay and currently I have no person in my following list instead my own ID so that's why I'm seeing my own post I'm going to log out from here quickly and now I'm going to create another account so that we can see from that account we will follow my own account and we will see if uh, I can see the post of Muhammad Ali or not okay which is my post so let's say the uh, Parker okay so you can say parker and then email let's say for example parker at the rate or whatever i mean email this is just for testing purposes so here at the rate gmail.com password one two three four five six then click register i'm going to follow this user whose name is Mohammed Ali okay and now I am logged in as uh, Gia at the red gmail.com I mean Gia Parker okay so if I just go to the search and let's search for Mohammed Ali this one okay I'm going to follow him here you can see so now inside uh, now I mean inside the followers for me it is written that I have this one follower whose ID is EN and EN is basically Gia Parker so now I am added to the following list of Gia Parker so if you just open this EN which is Gia Parker okay if you just open it then inside the uh, following list of her I am now here okay I mean RZ okay RZ which you can see it RZ is Muhammad Ali now if I just come here and now if I just go back to the home activity then I will see the post of uh, I mean Muhammad Ali okay so here you can see it now let's just upload a new post from here so that we can see what happens <coughs> so let's just crop this image quickly and then we can say hey let's just i mean whatever i mean you can write the description let's just click on this and now you will see that the new post will appear at the top okay i mean in descending order here you can see it parker okay and here you can see it so the user can see his own po post that is let's say parker which is the parker account okay and also the post that is 
she is now Gia Parker is following me that is LIZDB438 so that is why she is also seeing or viewing, viewing my post also okay here you can see it so if a user update his picture or I mean the profile picture then it will automatically update it also here on the all the post of that person okay which I already show you guys and if you want to check last more time then you can just come here and let's choose an image let's just quickly crop it so now you will see that automatic profile picture on the post also here you can see it yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will be working on the likes i mean we will allow user to like his own post or his post from his friends okay here you can see it and also to allow the user to comment on someone post so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our uh, channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram account for recent updates Take care of yourself and bye for now.